Hello, welcome to Escape the Box Piano. It's Dan here. This tutorial is a slightly quirky one. It's actually a response to a request twice by a YouTuber, so Constantin17. If you're watching this video, I hope it helps. This tutorial is a piano transcription of Black Bear's Hell is Where I Dreamt of You and Woke Up Alone. And I guess the thing that's kind of quirky about this is that it's a transcription of something that wasn't really ever played in the first place. Um, this piano line wasn't played, it was, it was kind of more assembled um, from kind of cut up, processed bits of piano sound, um, some of bits which have been reversed sampled, and there's kind of a huge amount of harmonic content in there. So the approach that I've taken to this is to pick out the most prominent harmonics within the sound, within the textured sound, the bits that sound most like a piano note, and that's what I'm going to be playing. So this piece has two sections. It's got the main section, which has a uh, four beats per bar feel at about 70 beats per minute. And then it's got a, an ending which is kind of bolted on, which is nothing like the main section, and it has a 12-8 uh, feel in terms of time signature to it. At the moment I've got the piano uh, focused on a range which is going to suit the uh, first section. The second section actually uses a higher register of a full 88 note keyboard, so I will reposition the camera for the second section. I figure this is so easy to learn that I'm not even going to break this down and tell you what every single note is. I think that's just going to slow this down too much. I'm just going to play the main section and you can watch and pause the video and learn that way. First of all, here's what 70 beats per minute sounds like. Okay. Here is middle C on the piano. We're going to go down one octave, we're going to go down two octaves, and we're going to go to the G here, and we're going to start on that G. So, here we go. Once you get to that part, you're going to go back to the beginning again. Not right to the beginning, you're going to miss out the very first measure where you're playing the very low G, rather you're going to go to where you start on the G, the octave up, and you're going to play the entire thing that you've just learnt through a second time. At the end of that second time, you're then going to go back to this. four more bars before we go into the 12-8 section. So we're going to go back down to the low G. And now there's kind of some weird dissonant piano reverse sampling weird stuff. You can kind of emulate on the piano by doing something along the lines of this. Let's move on then and take a look at this outro section. I've repositioned the camera, middle C is now here, 
and we're going to be working in the kind of register around here. First of all, let me just play the section through and then I'll talk you through it. Okay, let's break that down hand by hand. First of all, the right hand. Middle C, we're gonna go up one octave, up another octave. And now you're gonna put your um, fingers on an E flat here and a G. And then B flat and C. And then D. D again. Back to your E flat and G. G by itself, and then E flat and G. Next, G, B flat, C, D, and then D, G, three times. Now move your right hand down an octave and come to the um, G sharp here. And you're going to play G sharp, B flat, C. E flat, and then D, and then you're going to play a chord of D, F, B flat, and D, and you're going to spread that chord and roll it so that you start with your thumb and finish with your fifth finger. Like that. Next, G sharp, B flat, C, E flat, D, and then Stretch your hand so your thumb and your fifth finger span one octave and play B flats, D, F, B flat again, and then finally D at the top. Okay, let's take a look at the left hand. So, with your fifth finger on middle C and your thumb on G, you're going to play those two notes together and then E flat and G, and then B flat and G together, and then E flat and G, E flat and A flat, C, E flat, and then E flat and G, C and E flat, and that repeats. Next we move on, so our fifth finger is on F, C, and then F, G sharp, C, F, and then F, B flat, D, F, and then roll over onto your second finger for the B flat up here. And that's where your right hand then takes over with the chord, which we'll look at when we play hands together in a second. And then the final bit of the left hand, F, C, F, G sharp, C, F, and F, B flat, D, F. Let's put that hands together really slowly so you can see how it locks together.
Well, I do hope you found this tutorial useful. If you have, please do leave a like, leave some comments. What would you like to see transcribed next? Subscribe to the channel for more great tutorial videos, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.